So this is the banana control. Uh, we'll use a random card, a six of diamonds, and we'll place it in this. Oh, <laughs> probably best we do it face down. Place it in the center of the deck. Square it in nice, and with no moves. Six rises to the top. Uh, you might have thought I'm using a dupe, so we'll use a genuinely random card. Let's go for two of spades again. Two goes into the deck and squared in. And just like that, comes to the top. If you want to learn this control, stick around for the rest of the video because you're about to learn it. Just before we dive into the tutorial, please do me the smallest of favors and hit the subscribe button. It's the tiniest gesture that goes the longest way for me. It lets me know you're out there and you're enjoying these videos. So please hit the subscribe button. And without further ado, let's learn the banana control. So first thing is, there's no dupes. And this genuinely is all pure sleight of hand. However, it is slightly angle sensitive, so this is better for social media. But I'll, sh I'll run you through how everything works. Um, the main thing is that you're going to condition the audience from the get-go. So, this, you take out a random card, but what you're going to do is you're going to take out that card face up. So in this case, we'll take out any card face up, it doesn't matter. And what I'm going to do is turn the rest of the deck around by doing a TG Murphy deck flip. So for those of you that don't know that, you pinch the deck with your middle finger and thumb on either side, like this, and you use your index finger to apply some pressure. And when you release with the middle finger, the deck will flip over. Okay, so it's important to start face up, and you're about to learn why. Take a card out face up, and then turn the rest of the deck over face down. Because in a moment you're going to condition your audience to see one image. So um, what I'm going to do now is place this two really in the center of the deck, like this. I'm going to riffle down the edge of the deck, place the two in this manner by holding it in the bottom corner place it into the deck and show the back of it like that right because you're what we're going to do in a moment is we're going to recreate this image entirely but it's not going to be what's going to happen next isn't the same as this so this is called conditioning so i'm going to show you this i'm going to flash the back of the card and then say oh we should probably do it face down and let the card drop so they can see that it's really in the center now i'm going to take the two out from the empty corner where there's no index or no pip indices even I'm going to turn it around, and I'm going to do this by pivoting it like this, almost like it's going into Tenkai Palm, but it's not, it's just going into my hand. And as I do this, I'm going to flash that I'm riffling the deck again, because people are going to think it's going into the center. And I'm going to then mimic placing it into the center. But what's really happening is that it's going to go on top. And it's important that I don't put it very deep down, I'm actually putting it just a fraction on the top of the deck. But my hand here, the knuckles of this hand is gonna cover that. But the fun part comes uh, where, we're, where we're gonna recreate that image of conditioning. So from here, I go, I riffle down the edge, I pretend to place it in, and what I'm gonna do now is show the back, the front of the card. And by placing my thumb at the back of the deck, on top, on the top, and bending up, it, cre it looks like it's got that tension of being in the middle, right? It looks like it's in the middle. My thumb's actually pushing down here. The other thing which is important is because it's not really far down, it looks like there's less of that deck. So if I do it really far down, it looks like a full deck, right? But the further I hold the card out, the less of the deck you see. See how that's just a small portion of deck as if it was really in there? So because it's not far in, that visual from the front looks like the two is further down the deck than it is. If I actually release the pressure with my thumb, it looks like the card almost rises through the deck like an ambitious riser, this sort of thing. You know what I mean? So here, it looks like it's in, but that's halfway. This is the exact replica. Because I'm placing my thumb at the back, pushing down and bringing up, it looks like it's deeper down in, in the deck. Now all I need to do is square in. And again, my fingers are just going to completely cover the front as it squares in. And it, and it looks like it's gone completely into the center, but really it's on top. So from the beginning, we'll walk through it. Take out a random card, in this case the Queen of Clubs, and turn the deck over. Place the Queen in the center and show this image, and then say, oh, we should probably do it face up. Now we're gonna recreate that image and cover as we square, and that card looks like it comes to the top. 
and that's the banana control. Like I said, it's not the uh, best for the real world because you have some angle restrictions like from your left side or your right side depending on which hand you are. So from one side <clears throat> it's no good at all. From the front it's really good. Uh, you don't want people to see from above you though. You kind of want this to be like a one-on-one -on -one thing so if you have a card let me show you again from the top. Place here, boom. Let's uh, actually do it face down. Let me see, it goes in. That's great. <clears throat> and this side uh, also is good, but then they can't really see anything. So it's a one-on-one -on -one effect, but better for Instagram uh, and social media, but completely fine if you're in like a one-on-one -on -one performance situation. Guys, it's so cold here in Wales. I got the heating up full work, hot coffee, jumper hat, my fingers are numb, even after like warming up by teaching that control. Whew, stay, stay heated. <laughs> so guys, thank you for watching that. Um, it's a bit of a thank you video because I hit 5,000 subscribers, which is crazy because uh, for the longest time I didn't I didn't try to grow my channel. I just, I just shared stuff organically, but now I'm really making a conscious effort to uh, upload a couple of times a week for you with some tutorials, some theory, some interesting bits about what's going on. So thank you all for tuning in. It means so much. And if you haven't done it already, please drop me a subscribe. It goes like, It's like the smallest gesture that goes the furthest distance for me. Uh, and yeah, let me know below in the comments what you want to see next. On my Instagram, I post a bunch of tricks uh, with no explanations, just at Lloyd Barnes. Uh, feel free to troll through it and have a look what I show on there and let me know if you want me to teach anything directly from it because I'm totally down to teach almost everything and anything that I've uploaded. So let me know in the comments below. And um, if you haven't done so already, guys, and you're feeling super generous, drop me that notification bell. Ping! the notification bell and leave me a like on the video but yeah i've enjoyed teaching that today i've been wanting to do it for a while so thank you all thanks to all the subscribers already thanks to all the newcomers and i'll see you guys so, so i nearly got through the whole video without screwing up see you guys soon i was trying to say shortly and soon but i'm so hungry i was thinking of shortbread like shortbread biscuits and i went off oh let's try that again Okay, thank you guys. I will see you all soon in the next video. <laughs>